God make me like this? I'm stupid. I have no friends. I hate my life. I hate you. Everyone would be happier if I were dead. I wish I was never born. Contest master, fellow Toastmasters, judges, guests. What do you say to those words? Maybe you've said them. I have. These heartbreaking words are hard to hear from hormonal teens or overwhelmed adults. But imagine hearing them from your 5, 8, 11-year-old child. For the past six years, my now 11-year-old Karina has uttered these horrible phrases as she has had to live with the stigma and labels of a mental disorder. Karina lives with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. You may not believe that ADHD is a real disease, but it is a proven neurodevelopment brain disorder. Anyone who has lived with a child with ADHD understands the stigmas and labels. Karina has been labeled defiant by teachers, undisciplined by my own friends and family, annoying by her peers. Despite years of therapy and medication, she has adopted those labels. I have prayed for years for her to overcome her diagnosis and see herself the way I see her. Creative, compassionate, intelligent, funny. I needed her to see that God didn't make a mistake. Unfortunately, I realize that Karina, like most with a mental disorder, can't overcome the diagnosis. Instead, I needed to help her see that ADHD was not a negative, but a positive. I needed her to own those positives and overcome and conquer the negative so she could overcome the label. Once I knew how to inspire her, I needed to find role models. Robin Williams, Walt Disney, Aaron Brockovich, Simone Miles, all people who have been diagnosed with ADHD or other mental illnesses that have made normal life functioning a challenge. All individuals who have become successful not in spite of their diagnosis, but because of it. Let me say that again. They have become successful not in spite, but because of their diagnosis. Using these examples over the last few years, Karina has begun to see her ADHD not as a negative, but as a positive. Let me give you some examples. Karina is highly creative. She can mimic works of art from Michelangelo to Andy Warhol. She can sing like Sarah Brightman one minute, Taylor Swift the next. On a stage like Robin Williams, she becomes the character she is portraying, owning the positive. Karina is extremely imaginative. She can not only think outside the box, but she will execute those ideas perfectly in school projects, songs she writes, and stories she creates in public, owning the positive. Karina has an energy that I wish I could bottle and sell to every single one of you. From the time she wakes up to the time she goes to sleep, she is on. That energy has helped her become a successful, competitive cheerleader, earning the Sportsmanship Award for helping her team succeed. Owning the positive. ADHD children are inattentive. This is not true. It's attention deficit. People with ADHD have a tendency to hyper focus on things that interest them, not what interests you. If Karina is excited about something, the arts, drama, cheer, even certain school subjects, she will focus so much that she will thrive and succeed, conquering the negative. 
ADHD people are impulsive. This is partially true. An ADHD brain processes critical thinking differently. But when we think of people like Walt Disney, who were successful with ADHD, we see that that, that impulsivity led to risk-taking, and risk-taking leads to success. Karina has never been afraid to audition on a stage, go up to kids on a playground, or raise her hand to ask a question. Conquering the negative. Karina does not see her ADHD as something that defines her. Instead, it is a foundation of who she can become. And watching this caring, compassionate, creative child own that positive, has inspired me to overcome my labels, both internal and external. Being a parent of an ADHD child comes with a lot of labels. Owning the positive, compassion, empathy, understanding for all people. Conquering the negative, judgment, questioning, stress, opportunities to educate others. What is your label? What is it that defines you? Is it ADHD? Are you too shy or too outgoing? Are you obsessed with cleanliness and organization? Or do you hoard every roll of toilet paper you've ever bought? <laughs> Today I challenge you, define your label and own the positive in each one and use those gifts as a foundation to become the best person you can be. Today you can own the positive, conquer the negative, and overcome your label. Challenge yourself to own those positives, whether it's ADHD or your session with cleanliness. Own it. Conquer it. Overcome it.